My father's mother, we called her Grandma Honey, taught me to crochet when I was a young girl. I don't remember the exact age. I imagine I was probably nine or ten. I would crochet when I visited her in Plant City, Florida, and when I returned home. Did you know that Plant City is the winter strawberry capital of the world? <laughs> it was a hobby I enjoyed, and I now know that crochet has laid a foundation for calm in my life. No experience is wasted. As I got older, like other hobbies, I put it to the side. In the 1990s, while living in Tampa, Florida and working with IBM, I decided I would make baby blankets for gifts for my coworkers. In one year, I made nine spiderweb baby blankets. It was and is still my signature baby blanket. Once again, I took a hiatus from crochet for many years. I love the library. One day, while in the library on Covington Highway in Decatur, Georgia, I saw a flyer for a crochet group. Creative Expressions Crochet Group met every second Saturday, and at their next meeting, they were having a fashion show. Hmm. Well, I had never been to a crochet fashion show, so I checked it out. Sixteen years later, I'm still enjoying filling my cup with the wonderful crocheters of the Creative Expressions Crochet Group. Being a part of this group, I learned to work with colors, started creating original patterns, and more. Crochet helped me keep my calm when my mother was in and out of the hospital. I've created hats, scarves, neck warmers, afghans, dishcloths, throws, and more. I would say crochet is a grounding force in my life. And you get to have something to hold on to with each project. Over the years, I've enjoyed giving gifts to family, friends, and even strangers. Until COVID, our crochet group made annual donations to local places such as nursing homes, children's homes, and more. We are excited to finally be able to make donations again, and we will be creating squares for Project Chemo Crochet. Project Chemo Crochet is a worldwide project that gives support to cancer patients throughout the world through a handmade crochet patchwork afghan. Each afghan is made from 24 donated squares from around the world and stitched together and shipped out to anyone currently battling cancer. I love crochet. Crochet is meditative, as is knitting. What helps you keep your calm? If you're interested in joining us on Wednesday, the 15th or the 22nd, our live Breathe with Barbara session start at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can follow the link at Barbara Faison slash store slash online meditations to register. The card for In This Moment from my Relax, Listen, and Trust Your Inner Guidance card deck is the number 10 listen card. I give myself grace. Hmm. How will you give yourself grace today? What helps you keep your calm? I'd love to know. Feel free to reach out to me on social at Barbara Faison, or you can always email me at LLC at gmail.com. Until next week, stop, breathe, and savor life, and be well.